I think after the two great speakers, I, I'm a little scared of it. <laughs> Talk. But I'll try my best. Okay, uh, regarding the question, what did the British do for our uh, caste divisions? What role did they play? In 1871, they have created a criminal tribals act. Most inhuman human rights violations act probably ever know. I think uh, Malhotra mentioned this in, his, in, in stage 5, this criminal tribal act. And of course I got to know about it from uh, R.K. Ori. He presented a paper on that. Okay, I think I, I got three topics very quickly. I only have three minutes for each of them. <laughs> so let me go to the sack. criminal tribal act. Let's go into that first. Yeah, well, Okay. Well, first of all, our caste. Our, our own uh, constitution mentions 92 times, if we count them, caste. But not once, Varna or Varna Dharma. You can ask why. We don't know. 1901 census of the British has 1626 castes. Every time you say Hindu, you've got to mention your caste. If you're a Muslim or a Christian, you don't have to. Yeah, too close? Oh, okay. If I'm to, uh, yeah. That's correct. Now, in the next 1931 census, <laughs> it went to 4147 castes on a British time. Imagine how they created the caste divisions and caste warfare. And the scheduled caste grew in number from 80, 821 in 1950 to 1208 in, in the year 2008. And SCs are again up to 500 now SCs are recognized now. Just imagine how much we continued the British legacy. We created the caste divisions. But let's go to the next one, please. Uh, who are these Dalits today, tribes? Let's go to the Criminal, Tri Criminal Tribes Act. The act came into force in 1871 and spread over all over India. They have created all this. Let's go to the next one. We've got to move fast on this. So you can see the picture. You can go and see this picture in Wikipedia. Or you don't have to go to uh, all these paper or anything like that. This is what they have done. The nomadic tribes today, about 500 of them, still are suffering from this vicious, uh, what we call Human Rights Violations Act. British has created it. Now, next one, sir. Yeah, now we're talking about uh, only uh, mentioned about Elias uh, work, Kancharaya, of course Rajiv Nalotra spent uh, uh, several pages on this, work of uh, Elia from Hyderabad, Professor of uh, Osmani University. His, actually Rajiv's book, you see 200 page 256 or something. He says, I want to kill Sanskrit. That's what he said. <laughs> In other words, caste warfare situation has become so violent he wants to look at India. Now the lower caste, upper caste are bound to clash and Hinduism will be dead. We will talk about his book is post Hindu India. Okay, let's go. Uh, 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 we, now I'm going to come to say and say how we can expose this fraudulent theory, very fraudulent propaganda of Kanchalaya and the Christian groups. Raju already talked a great deal about this Dalit Strong Alliance and so-called Dalit Freedom Network. So I don't need to go into that. Let me go to the third top and so on. We can talk about SCSTs. What is the status of SCSTs today after 60 years of independence? 60 some years. Now, we got an excellent paper by Rakesh Bhadwar. Dr. Bahadur researched from our Government of India um, uh, figures of 
Ministry of Human 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 Affairs, Minister of Human uh, what is called Human Affairs, MHA, and also from planning, he has got produced about 20 graphs, and, and I have all of them in, in here. I don't have time to show the crime against SCSTs. We we'll talk about this a lot of crime against SCSTs by the upper caste. This is what they're saying, which is totally untrue. We have the government figures, which the government is never sympathetic to this area, but the correct things are the crime against SCSD is less than 1% of the total crime. SCSD is 26% of the population, but crime against them is less than 1%. Can you believe this? I, we don't, I, I have the uh, actual figures year by year, decade by decade. How much these are relevant? You see, the last few years, the crime against SCSTs is in less than 1% combined. <coughs> Go right through here, but put the next one, please. These are, I have lots of, Rajesh Bahadur has produced a 120 page paper, a report, and I picked up a system of several of these. I was amazed to see this. So how much fraudulent propaganda is going on? Not only crime. Let's look at, oh, look okay. here. I think there are a lot of graphs here on my, uh, you don't see them? They're gone? Okay, I can tell them. I, I see that. Not only the crime against SCSTs, how are they advancing in terms of uh, progress, in terms of education? The gap between SCSTs and the others, non-SCSTs, Huge time independence. It's not a, it's twenty-five percent to almost less than five percent. Uh, at the time of independence, the literacy rate is forty percent in India. The, the, the sixty-one figure, which is a little almost a, a decade later, 40, forty years later, literacy rate for SESTs is twenty-five percent, non-SESTs, SESTs are around four percent. Almost but then look at it from nineteen 61, 71, 81, 91, 2, go on, together. The gap was really closing enormously. Today, the illiteracy rate, illiteracy rate is very small. Uh, literacy, let's put literacy. 65% is literacy in India in 2001. 2011, we don't have yet. Whereas SESTs, they are about 50%. See the gap, how much they close. The gap is closing from almost very wide gap to, and so on in terms of employment and in terms of the participation in, in a, how much time? I'm not looking at it. Oh my God. All right. I, I'll try to close. Uh, I'll go to this. Okay, let's go to the last one, my conclusion. What I'm saying, the Raju Mahalotra Neil Clinton's book opens up for serious researchers, which can go 100 to 200 doctor presentations. He has done tremendous work. He's got to take this forward. And we don't need to. There is so, so much knowledge there. This can be advanced. That is what the intellectual battle we have. Okay, remarkable progress of SCSTs, which is unknown. Unrevealed, unresearched. You've got to go to Rakesh Bhardwar. And uh, I can provide that uh, uh, in the internet, uh, I'm sure you can find it. The report only came August 15, very recent. It's a 120 page report. And I went through, and it should be really uh, proud. But next, third one is who has countless fraud, fraudulent. Dalit, Dravidian, Christian nexus. There is no grounds at all to show that the SCSTs are all these violations they're talking about is, have no foundation. We can go and challenge them, but the real government is not doing it. But we have to find a way to go and tell them. Okay, what's the final? Take care of them. How are we compared? What did brother also compare? How are the bad? Backward uh, uh, communities in the US, what is their gap? 
150 years ago. What about from after the liberation, so called liberation? What is the gap now? The gap is not closing. The gap is still wide in years. But in India, we close the gap from advanced communities, not SESTs, SESTs. Thank you very much. That's